Hawaii's most accurate weather with Kelly Simek. Good morning, everybody. We're going to continue to be tracking a lot of rainfall that's still headed our way. We have an upper level low that's creating a lot of instability and lingering over the eastern half of the state today. And that's going to be drifting westward across the state then throughout the weekend. So the unsettled weather is forecast to continue with us. Now, we're also going to be looking at this Kona low that's forming to the east of the state. This is happening at the surface. And as it tracks a little bit further to the north, it looks like that combined with the instability from the upper level low. Are really going to play in part together to deliver us the threat of locally heavy rainfall and also some isolated thunderstorms at times. So be prepared for that. This unsettled weather, it looks like, is going to be continuing with us through the weekend, through Sunday, potentially drying out as early as Monday. So as you can see right now, though, we're seeing a lot less activity than what we saw yesterday morning. All the convection that was lingering across the state, as you can see, now just to the northeast of us, just offshore of Hawaii Island. So Big Island, or at least close to the Big Island, is where we're seeing the bulk of the rainfall. But what we're actually tracking on our radar, nothing too heavy, but a little bit widespread. Now you can see, along with our trade winds, we are still seeing plenty of passing showers moving through. That's what's going to continue with us for today. So it's not really just consistent rainfall with a lot of moisture directly over us. But again, this is going to continue to move in from the north. So some hit or miss showers, but you're going to want to keep those umbrellas on hand for both windward and leeward sections because those showers could hit at any time throughout the entire day. We have a very high precipitation potential. It's about a 60% chance of rain even for the town areas. So be prepared for that. Now this is a look at the future satellite and radar. You can see that Kona low just to the northeast of Hawaii Island. Take a look as we progress this along through through the rest of Friday. It just slowly tracks to the north of us, actually getting really close to Hawaii Island. But you can see the rainfall associated with it continues to, of course, be pulled over the state, so be prepared for that. I hope you guys enjoyed your Valentine's Day. It was a wet one, but it looks like today's weather is going to be very similar. Still large surf coming through for both north and west facing shores, which is at advisory and warning levels. Let's take a look at the advisories that we have in place right now. It looks like the warning has been dropped for uh, the eastern shores, but a high surf advisory continues for east facing shores. Uh, be prepared. Winter, advi winter weather advisory for the Big Island summits and Haleakala. So no longer under that winter storm warning. Still could see snow up there. Boaters, small craft advisories in effect. Our trade winds, they're here blowing strong up to about 25, potentially up to about 30 miles an hour, but it's looking like more so up to about 25 miles an hour through the weekend. Breezy conditions, trade sticking with us, and the precipitation potential has dropped down a little bit from what forecast models were showing yesterday, but still the threat of rain. All right, Chris, over to you.